When people talk about Autodesk Maya today, it is usually described as the industry standard for visual effects, game development, and animation. You will see it in the credits of almost every blockbuster film, and it is taught in schools as a default package to learn. But if you ask professionals in the late 90s and the early 2000s, they will tell you that Maya didn't necessarily have complete dominance over the industry. I mean compared to its peers, such as Softimize XSI, Houdini, and Max. And it got popular not only because it was good, but due to other reasons as well. Now this raises a question. If it wasn't features and tools that helped it become the most important industry standard software, then why did studios commit to it so fast? To understand Maya's rise, you have to look at what the 3D software scene looked like in the mid and late 90s. At this point, Softimage was a dominant package in high-end film production. It powered visual effects in films such as Jurassic Park, Terminator 2, Titanic, and The Fifth Element.